Howdy, Secretary Rick Perry here, and it's a pleasure to welcome all of you to the start of the third annual Cyber Defense Competition. I'd like to thank our Office of Electricity for sponsoring this event, our three national labs, Argonne, Oak Ridge, and Pacific Northwest for hosting, the volunteers, of course, and partners for participating, and above all, our university teams for competing. There are a lot of cybersecurity training simulations, but this one is a competition uniquely focused on protecting our energy infrastructure from real world attacks. There is perhaps nothing more essential to America's national and economic security than its energy supply. The Department of Energy plays a vital role in protecting that supply from cyber attacks, and as Secretary, it's my number one priority. As you can see from the monitor behind me, tracking cyber attacks in real time, the threats to our nation are constant and ever-changing. To protect our energy infrastructure, we need to be prepared, vigilant, and a step ahead of our adversaries. Today, the top cyber students from our nation's leading universities will hone their cyber defense skills against the brightest minds from DOE's national laboratories and private industry using real-time interactive scenarios. Blue teams, and remember, in addition to what I am certain will be relentless attacks from our red team, you're not simply being scored on your ability to defend, but also on your quick, outside-the-box strategic thinking. And red team, I encourage you to give our student teams everything you got. Test them, challenge them, and surprise them. And in doing so, you will prepare them to meet tomorrow's threats. Throughout our history, competition has served as a catalyst for innovation. Think back to the dawn of aviation, or the day we first landed on the moon, when harnessing America's competitive spirit spurred ingenuity and unleashed innovation. This is a uniquely American approach to problem solving. Competition breeds excellence. It brings out the best in us. And when America's cyber experts are challenging one another on the virtual battlefield, we all win. Finally, and most importantly, we're sponsoring this competition because we believe and we're dependent upon all of you. You are this nation's next generation of innovators defenders, cyber warriors, and whether you choose to serve at DOE's national laboratories and academia or the private sector, our country needs you. We need you to bring your knowledge, your passion, your competitive spirit to the defense of our energy infrastructure. So once again, I want to thank each of you for taking part in this year's cyber defense competition. I wish each of you the best of luck and know it will be a competition to remember. Good hunting.